I can't believe it. I think, geez, 10 years ago we played in that, you know, the grand final and, and even being out of the game for six years, it's, it's gone really quick. And I remember Dean Kemp and David Hart always saying to me as, as a young, a young bloke, just enjoy your footy because, uh, you know, uh, your footy career's quickly gone and you know, enjoy it while you possibly can. And, and now you appreciate that now that you're not in the game because uh, they were completely right. Probably the first time I've ever been really nervous because at the time I was probably 50 50 um, about being picked in the squad, and um, there's a few fitness tests that I had to do, and I was really concerned about um, my hamstring. And to be honest, I really didn't want to um, uh, risk playing. Um, and that was when that situation where Jamie Graham kind of put up his hand and, and made way for me, and it was to me, I th I've never, you know, I've always thanked him for that. And, and there's a lot of trust went into me from the from the coaches and the, and the playing group and also the medical staff. It was more of a challenge for me uh, that grand final day, but it was it was all in my head and I had to try and get around it. We blasted off pretty hard, and uh, that was all of our. We all had that focus and intention to really put um, you know scoreboard pressure on them pretty early. Um, but we always know that they just match up. Their, their players pound for pound we could, could stay with our best midfielders as well so we anticipated that and that's why it was important just to, to keep that focus all the way through the whole game and, and you know the history speaks for itself now. One of the things that we kind of had as a playing group is that just that sense of just clicking together um, and having that understanding on the footy over. Good support, terrific support from Weaponda. When it was kind of hard, um, a hard game or man to man, the players instantly knew um, what, we, what our roles and how we had to do it. Weaponda getting back to stand in front of our Lockwood. This is looking good, Malcolm. They've got the extra numbers back, filling the hole, filling the spaces in front of O'Loughlin and Hall. Well, I try not to look at the scoreboard all the time. Um, if someone does something amazing or that, those little one percenters that really win us the game. Well, you, you know, you want to thank them later. You, you just don't. It's exciting, but you've just got to stay focused. Even when Stephen Armstrong came on there and kicked that goal when we needed it, that, you know, that, that's we, we speak about it today. And I've been thanking Stephen Armstrong for the last ten years. So it's just one of those things you, you, you prefer to finish the game and then pat each other on the back. Armstrong steps up. During the game, I remember just kind of spectating during the game, watching the way Curry played and Coxie dominating and Cuzzy and Juddy. Um, you know, just just watching the way they went about it. You, you do sometimes kind of stop and you forget that, geez, I'm a part of this as well. So, uh, but it was a special group, um, and I think the relationship between all the players was was probably more amazing than than anything. <laughs> My young bloke Eli's watched it about 10 times in Marley, but I've never uh, really sat down to watch the whole game. Um, but I'll, I'll be, there's every chance I'll have a nice bottle of red and, and I'll sit back and I'll watch it sometime this year. So the Eagles flying high in 2006, here, one of the best grand finals you'll ever see.